Hello and welcome to the HGC. Today's video, I'm going to be out in the shop. I don't have my computer finished being set up in the shop, so I'm going to be using my cell phone. But this was an HDMI port replacement. Excuse me, let me get that plugged in. All right, and this will be the first time turning it on after the HDMI port was replaced. But I felt it would be a good opportunity to hopefully capture what I want to see. And that is where the screen tells you it needs an installation update. Okay, there's lots of reasons for that installation update popping up on the screen. Uh, most of the time, it's due to loss of power from the system. This particular one was dropped. I pretty much guarantee it's corrupted. We're going to find out now. I'm going to turn it on. You get the blue light. That's normal. And we're getting the screen coming up. One second. Here we go. Come on, darling. Okay, and there we go. So it did lose power. It says uh, checking the system storage status. Do not turn off. After the check is complete, the system will automatically restart. This is because the power was lost before the system could put everything back in the drive the way it's supposed to do it. Okay, so here we go. It's going to go all the way across, fill the bar up. It's basically realigning everything. Then, after the bar loads, you wind up with a screen that looks like this. Connect a USB storage device that contains an update file for reinstallation for version, whatever your version is, or later. It says you can download the update file for reinstallation from PlayStation.com. If you download that and try to install it, you will lose all of the information in your hard drive. Okay, more often than not, this screen is simply part of a corruption. If you move this over and select OK, you're screwed. You're going to have to re-upload everything. You're better off hitting Cancel, here we go, and letting the system shut down completely. Okay, I'm going to watch what I do. I'm going to let the system shut down completely. Okay, it's shut down, and then simply restart your system. Now, you might need to do this two, possibly even three times. Any more than three times, and it's not going to correct itself. But normally, it'll correct itself the first time, so long as you don't select OK and or try to use that USB update. That's a reinstallation update that will do the whole thing. So let's watch. Okay, here we go. Checking system storage status. Don't turn it off. After the check is completed, the PS4 will automatically restart. All right, we just got to wait for this to finish up. Yes, I know there's a lot of dust on my counter, but that's because I work in a garage shop. This is the dirty side of my shop where I got to open everything up and clean it out, so a lot of dust gets kicked up. But guess what? Rebooting. <clears throat> Here we go. One second. Shazam. Guess what? No more corruption. No more need for the installation update that will delete all your files and game progress. Here we go. We're going to let it get all the way into it. And... Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. It's asking you, it's telling you the important safety warnings. And now it's going to come up on the screen. And Shazam! We did not lose any data and we did not need to use that update installation. Okay. <clears throat> now, if it doesn't do this after about three attempts, I would highly recommend you take it to a shop that's familiar with the game systems, preferably one that has an, a repairman that 
has education in component level electronics because he's going to be the smarter of the bunch. I mean, seriously, you can watch YouTube videos and screw up the system yourself for free. But I'm just telling you, no matter what the symptom is on your game system, and this is a good example of it, no matter what symptom you have, there can be a million different reasons for the exact same symptom. No matter how identically they describe their problem, it could easily not be your problem. On these systems, there's no such thing as a common issue. Now, uh, broken HDMI ports, usually visible. So, yeah, they could say that would be a common issue because people yank them out all the time. But at least you can visually identify the problem. If you cannot visually identify an actual problem in your system, then you should not be repairing it. Okay, because if you try to fix something that's not broken, you can end the life of your game system to the point that it'll either never play a game again, no matter what, no matter who you take it to, no matter what their qualifications are, or flat out kill the system, and not be repairable no matter what their qualifications are because there's a lot of board specific components in the system that simply cannot be replaced so I highly recommend that you don't try home repairs uh, a, a, more often than not a general clean out of the system which is simply removing the power supply only and blowing out all the dust a lot of times will correct it however the majority of the time when the system's not booting, it's staying blue light or totally blacked out, no power whatsoever. More often than not, that's not going to correct it. However, I've had a few in the past that simply cleaning it out corrected the problem because it had a high iron content piece of dust crossing over a path. But that is rare and far between. So just keep this in mind. Stay safe. Happy gaming, everybody. Bye.